uh, this young patient has sustained crush injury in his right index finger and I am planning to give axillary block through direct approach. This is the direct approach described by author D.K. Gupta. Here I have marked some landmark. The D stands for the deltoid muscle and P stands for the, the pectus major and this COR represents the coracoid process and of course this is the clavicle here. So we have marked the clavicle, we have marked the coracoid process, we have marked the deltoid, we have marked the pectus muscle, we have palpated the biceps brachii here, we have palpated the coraco brachialis here, we have palpated the brachial and axillary and brachial artery here and in the back this is the trapezius, oh, this is the triceps muscle. So now the direct approach means if I insert a needle at the apex of deltopectoral groove from here and the tip of the needle should be directed towards the marked brachial artery, axillary artery here. If I measure the distance in this adult patient, it is about, it is about uh, from the brachial artery, it is about 8 centimeter. It means I have to take a needle that should be about 8 to 10 centimeter long. So the direction of the needle should be like this, from this point towards the artery and we should infiltrate here and if the fluid, the local anesthetic solution in, in the right place, this will burn up this axillary sheath or the brachial sheath at this point. And if I advance the needle beyond this, this will going to block the, block the, uh, the, the, the branches from the T1, T2 that supply on the medial aspect of the upper arm. So that branches also get blocked if I advance the needle little beyond the axillary artery in backward direction. Just uh, anesthetize uh, the intermediate. Halka infiltrate the skin and remove it. Now I have taken a, a needle from 18 gauge 18 gauge intracath and the needle is is 7 cm long. Now keep the index finger at the axillary artery here and make sure you are able to palpate it. Now the middle finger is now from here palpate the artery. and insert the needle from this previously anesthetized point and move towards see so he developed ke current laga bete haath mein so he feel paresthesia ideally our aim is not to elicit paresthesia after aspiration inject little amount of the local necessary solution withdraw the needle mm. uh, the, there should not be any resistance while injection I have further advanced the needle further advance the needle see the blood is there withdraw it and go little beyond blood is, is still there No blood here and see the ballooning is going on. Again rotate and check there should not be any blood here. So you should be very careful to avoid the accidental intravascular injection. And see the whole of this area, the skin is free, but the underlying sheath is ballooned up. Now withdraw the little needle a little bit. हाथ में कुछ भारी बना रहा है, हैं? आ रहा है? Superficial plane, see? And make sure there should not be any blood, see? And then 
infiltrate this is a simple block but make sure if you puncture the vessel and any of any amount of the local anesthetic if it goes inside the vascular system this will be detrimental and of course uh, this is very lethal also